Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, I'm gonna be making possibly one of the best things in barbecue right now, which is a bacon wrapped sausage popper. And these things are absolutely incredible. You're gonna love them for sure. So if you've never heard of them, never tried them before, make sure to add it to your list right now. Now than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Post Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at The Grill, I'm gonna be making some bacon-wrapped sausage poppers. And if you've never seen uh, this recipe yet before, uh, this is something that I've seen a few times on social media, typically seen more as sausage bowls, but you know, I want to just level it up a little bit and bring that classic jalapeno popper and infuse it into this with that bacon-wrapped feel. And so these are gonna be so good. There's not a lot you're gonna need for this recipe. We got our bacon, our jalapenos, uh, you know, a couple and a half of a cheddar cheese, a block of cream cheese, and then some barbecue rub. And today I'm gonna to be using a rub that was sent to me by my buddy Guga over at Guga Foods. And the first thing to do to get started, I'm gonna take my sausages, and these are just Italian uh, sausages. They're mild Italian. If you wanna go spicy or choose whatever type of sausage you want, go for it. Uh, but the easiest thing to do to get started is, you, you see the curve, I like to lay it flat. And so I'm just gonna get it laying down like that. And then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna slice it from one end of the, to the other. Just like that and then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna open it up like this and you know this is where that sausage canoe comes in uh, or sausage boat whatever you want to call it uh, this is sort of the original version that I saw and so uh, with this recipe however we're gonna start uh, by taking some uh, cheddar cheese I'm gonna place that down to the bottom there we go and then I'm gonna grab my block of cream cheese and I'm gonna just take a little bit off the end. Maybe I'll cut it in half again. I'm just gonna place that inside. And you know, if you wanted to use a piping bag and mix all this together like a more of a traditional jalapeno popper, go for it. This method just works fine as well. And so I'm just gonna get that in place, followed by a little bit more of our cheddar cheese. I'm gonna just move this off the side. And then to this, I'm gonna add, uh, like I said, some of that Guga's rub. And this is just gonna add a little bit of spice, a little bit of extra flavor into the filling. And we'll come back to that uh, again. And then the next thing I'm going to do, and this is where it becomes more of a jalapeno popper. I'm gonna just slice off the end of that and then uh, cut this jalapeno right in half. And then with my spoon, I'm just gonna core out uh, the seeds. There's one, get that next one. And you'll notice that the shape of the jalapeno kind of matches uh, the shape of our sausage. We're gonna place that right over top of our cheese mixture. The next one, again, is gonna match that up. I'm gonna kind of wedge that in a little bit. The reason I'm putting the jalapeno on the top versus the bottom of the sausage is because I want it to be on the outside surface because I'm gonna wrap it in bacon. I want the jalapeno to be a little bit closer to the heat source so that the jalapeno just sort of softens up a little bit more. And so with your boat prepared like this, you know, if you don't have bacon, you wanna just do some uh, slices of jalapeno on top, you know, that's the method that I did uh, in the past and it was phenomenal. So if this is all you have, uh, go ahead and put it onto the grill. But like I said, we're gonna take it to the next level. So I'm gonna grab uh, two strips of this bacon and I'm just using some low sodium bacon because I wanna add that extra sodium with the rub. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna place this onto the bottom and then I'm gonna carefully wrap this all around. like that and it looks like I'm gonna need one more strip of this There we go, just take a look at that. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then the last thing I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm gonna to top it with a little bit more of that barbecue rub. And so just go ahead and hit it, uh, just the top portion. If you wanna roll it over a little bit, go for it. But this is gonna add a ton of extra flavors. Also gonna help uh, crisp up that bacon a little bit more uh, when it does hit the grill. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these bacon wraps, sausage poppers, and then we'll come back when it's time to get them onto the grill. All 
All right, guys, those look absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get these cooked into the taste test because really you can't go wrong with bacon and sausage and the cream cheese, all that filling that's in there. These are gonna be so delicious. And so uh, today I'm gonna get the Sloan Sear kettle set up around 275 degrees. It's gonna be a great temperature to crisp up that bacon because you know with this recipe, I know that the sausage is gonna cook uh, and it's just a matter of time for the bacon to be done. And so when you're cooking this one, just cook it to the bacon because the sausage will get done in its own time. Time. And so let's go ahead and get this kettle set up for 275 degrees. All right, so to set up the Sloan Sear kettle today, I filled it with the Sloan Sear uh, about halfway full with uh, some lump charcoal. And I got that charcoal about halfway lit so that it can get that 275 degree temperature. I closed the lid and then I set my top vents about a third of the way as well as my bottom vent uh, fully closed with just the smoke hole open. And so if you don't have the smoke hole, uh, go ahead and just open the bottom vent about a quarter of the way to get started. All right, so with the Sloan Sear kettle all set up for cooking, let's get these bad boys onto the grill, up to the coals, and get cooking them. Be careful with these guys. then the last thing I'm gonna do is gonna add a little bit of smoky flavor. So I'm gonna put some hardwood in there and use your favorite hardwood. I like to use apple or cherry uh, for things like this. So once that's all on the grill, close up this lid. So for the cook today, it's gonna to take about 45 to 60 minutes uh, total time. And really you're cooking to the bacon doneness, uh, the whatever your preferred crispiness is of the bacon because the sausage is gonna be done in probably about 30, 35 minutes. And so just cook it until the bacon's nice and crispy the way you like it. And then at that point for me, I'm gonna come back uh, at that time and then show you what it looks like. All right, so it's been an hour of cooking already, and I did open up the grill at about the 45 minute mark. Just take a look at that bacon to see how it was coming along, and it was still fairly soft. And so let's take a look at it now. It may need some more time, but we'll see at that point. Oh guys, just look at that. You can see they've got some cheese oozing out of the side. This looks absolutely delicious already. Uh, but when I do check the bacon, it's still a little bit soft. The edges are getting more firm, but that center is what I'm looking for to crisp up a little bit more. So I'm gonna close up this lid and I'm also gonna open up my vents just a little bit. And so I want to just increase the temperature. You know, all along we've been cooking around probably about 285. And so I'm gonna bump it up to 325 or just open up the vents and just let that grill climb in temperature to crisp the bacon. And so it's probably only gonna take another five, 10 minutes uh, to get it to that point. And then at that point, I'm gonna pull them off the grill and we'll get ready for the taste test. My food's off the grill and it looks incredible. Uh, you know, I did cook it probably for another 10, 15 minutes on the kettle uh, to get that bacon crispy and, and it's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, you can really pick up that jalapeno smell as well as the bacon. This is gonna be a great taste test. So let's grab this one on the top here slide these over and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it right down the middle because that jalapeno goes to about the middle. So just look at that. You can see that jalapeno just poking through as well as that gooey a cream cheese and that cheese filling. This is gonna be phenomenal. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh man. Oh <laughs> crap, that's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is incredible. You know, if you're a fan of jalapeno poppers or bacon or really just anything that's delicious, you're gonna love this for sure. It just pops with flavor. You know, if I had to choose uh, with this first bite what I would prefer, a jalapeno popper or this, it's a tough call. This is so good. You get more of that rich, savory flavor from the sausage, uh, but you have that same sort of jalapeno popper uh, flavor going on there too. It's incredible. Um, I did make um, spicy barbecue mayo uh, to go along with this, so let's dip that. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. 
You know, this might be the best thing in barbecue right now. It has everything that you need. It's got the savory, the spicy, that creaminess. And then with that Guga's rub, you get that salty, sweet flavor, which goes perfectly with this. And so I'm going to go ahead, finish this one up, but I hope you give it a try. Mmm, mmm. So that's how you make those incredible bacon wrap sausage poppers for your next feast, tailgate, or whatever you're gonna cook them for. They're absolutely delicious and you wanna check them out. So until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking. Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at The Grill, we're making up some delicious jalapeno moink balls that are absolutely phenomenal. You're gonna love them for sure. They're simple to make, taste amazing, and big on flavor. Now than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I appreciate you being here. Today at The Grill, I'm gonna be making some delicious spicy moink balls. And if you've never had a moink ball before or never even heard of it before, uh, it's basically a combination between moo and oink uh, and bringing those together to make moink. And so these are absolutely delicious, a great game day food, a party food, or even just when you're getting together with some buddies for some beers. Uh, and so there's not much you need for this recipe. We got some 80-20 ground beef, some bacon, uh, some jalapenos, and then I have some jalapenos jalapeno Monterey Jack cheese and go ahead and use your favorite cheese. Uh, this is what I want to use just to uh, get some of that jalapeno and spicy flavors into these moink balls. And so to get started, I'm going to grab some cheese and I'm going to cut these roughly into, we'll go into thirds. And you'll see they're about an inch thick and this is just so we can get a good amount of cheese into the center of uh, the moink ball. I'm going to do a couple more. And I think I'm doing 10, so I'll grab one more there. There we go, put that off to the side. And then I'm gonna grab some jalapeno, I'm gonna make some slices. And I'm not gonna be removing the seeds today. All right, we'll get that off to the side as well. All right, so to build the moink balls, it's fairly simple. We got, like I said, our 80-20 ground beef. And so I'm gonna grab some of this. And all I'm going to do for this, so I'm gonna kind of make a pancake with it. I'm gonna grab one of my cheese blocks, I'm gonna place that in there. There we go. So I'm forming it with my hand to almost make a like a pig shot, and so I'm just gonna get that there. Then I'm gonna grab one of my strips of bacon, and with this, I like to give it a little bit of a tug before I wrap it around. There we go. And then I'm going to grab my toothpick. I'm going to place it right through the center of that cheese all the way to the end. Take my jalapeno, place it right on top. There we go. So there's one done. And just look at that. It looks incredible already. And so I'm going to make another one uh, to put on the skewer as well. Just get that nice and tight in there. About the same size, grab my strip of bacon. Again, give it a little bit of a tug. And place that in through the block of cheese. Grab my jalapeno and place that on top. There we go. And so these aren't quite done yet. I'm going to grab uh, some of my barbecue rub now. And today I'm going to be using my uh, Pulse Barbecue Original Rub because it's got that sugar in there. I want that sugar to help uh, crisp up that bacon as well as add a little bit of sweetness uh, to this recipe. I'm going to flip it over. I get the side of that bacon. Don't 
don't miss the bottom. Guys, this looks awesome. I can't wait to get this onto the grill, but I'm gonna go ahead and make up the rest of these skewers. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be two on each one so uh, that each person can get two of these. And so I'm gonna build these and we'll come back when it's time to get them onto the grill. All right, didn't take much time at all uh, to finish preparing these jalapeno moink balls uh, and they look incredible. And so we're gonna get them onto the grill. Today I'm gonna be cooking on the Camp Chef Woodbin Pro uh, pellet grill. If you have uh, a kettle grill or an offset cooker, uh, we're cooking at 275 degrees. And so just set up your grill for cooking around that temperature. And so let's get them onto the grill. get that lid closed up. And so one of the things I love about this grill is they've included a smoke box into the front. And so if yours doesn't have this, uh, don't worry about this next step, but I wanna add a little bit more smoky flavor. So I'm gonna take a handful of uh, wood chips. You can use chunks, you can use whatever you like. I'm gonna slide that in. And this is gonna give a little extra kiss of smoke to the moink balls because traditionally pellet grills are a little more silky, smooth, smoky flavor. And I want that uh, more robust smoky flavor on these moink balls. And like I said, I'm gonna be cooking today around 275 degrees for roughly about an hour uh, so that bacon has enough time to render, to tighten up, uh, get a little bit crispy. And so we'll come back when it gets closer to that time. All right, these jalapeno moink balls have been cooking for about an hour now, and I wanna open up the grill and just take a look to see if that bacon has uh, crisped up or tightened up the way I want it. And so let's take a look at these. Oh guys, look at those, they look incredible. You can see that cheese is starting to ooze out a little bit. The bacon is getting close to my preferred doneness. And so I'm gonna take this time and I'm gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce to the outside uh, of these moink balls, and then I'll let that sauce just set up. There we go, I'm gonna get that lid closed back up. And like I said, I'm gonna let the sauce set for probably another 10 minutes. And then at that point, I'm gonna pull them off the grill and we'll get ready for the taste test. All right, so the total cooking time on these was about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, that sauce is set up quite nicely and these smell phenomenal. I mean, just look at them. They look like the perfect appetizer for having some friends over. All right, let's go for the taste test. I did allow these to uh, just cool down for about 10, 12 minutes so that that cheese on the inside wasn't gonna uh, just burn my mouth right away. All right, I'm gonna grab this guy, just pull it off that skewer. And guys, look at that. This looks phenomenal. Here we go. Mmm. -hmm. Oh man. That first bite was delicious. You know, the only thing I could really think of was comfort. It's got everything that you need uh, for a great comfort dish. It's sweet, it's savory, it's rich. And then the way that jalapeno cooks down, giving it a little extra burst of flavor, it's so good. I'm gonna go for another bite. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is delicious. Guys, this is one of those recipes that you need to try out. They're simple to do. They don't take a lot of time. And best of all, the flavor, it just explodes with every bite. You're gonna love it for sure. So I hope you give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off. Mm -hmm. Mmm. 
So that's how you make those incredibly delicious jalapeno moink bowls for your next barbecue. You're gonna love them for sure. So until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.